Good morning and welcome to Morning Meditation. We're still on Galatians chapter 1. I marvel you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that would trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that ye have received, let him be accursed. And last time we met, we talked about the Galatians who were removed. They allowed uh, someone else to come in and remove them from the gospel, the grace of God. And they had received another gospel, not much different in our day and time. Uh, there's people constantly trying to change the message. Why? Because the gospel of the grace of God not only saves us, it salvages us, and it helps us to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the grace was not, the Galatians were not only removed, I want you to see the, the grace that was rejected. Uh, they had accepted another gospel. Now, I want to take a few moments here uh, because there's a lot of another gospels floating around on the internet. You know, Jude tells us if somebody's not sound in the faith, wherefore rebuke them sharply. Now, this is where a lot of people struggle. And uh, that's when uh, pastors call out other uh, so-called uh, gospel preachers. And I'm not angry with them, but I am angry with the message because they're changing the gospel of the grace of Jesus Christ into a message that fits their pattern of works. And Titus very clearly says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but we're renewed by the Holy Ghost. And so the sacrifice of Christ cannot be added to or taken away from uh, by our works. And that's the gospel of grace, the sacrifice of Christ. When we add works to it, okay, uh, Jude says, rebuke them sharply. I want to give you two names from the internet, Paul Washer and Ray Comfort. Uh, they seem to be good guys. They seem to be presenting a straight gospel, but in actuality, they're doing the same thing these Judaizers did, and they're adding works to salvation.